Good morning and welcome to Easter morning. Um, it is Resurrection Sunday. It is Easter Sunday. And this is a really important time in our Christian calendar, in our Christian faith. It is the central fact of our Christian history. And without it, we would not have the Christian church today. Jesus' resurrection, it's unique. Only Christianity has a God who became human, died for his people, was raised again in power and glory, and lives forever to rule this church. Isn't that amazing? It's fantastic. Now today we're going to look at the events of Jesus' resurrection from the dead. Do you know he's alive? Mm -hmm. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Now it was truly a very challenging time for his disciples and for Jesus' followers. They had just seen Jesus die on a cross and be taken to the tomb to be buried. It's challenging for all of us. Our Jesus died on a cross and is now in a tomb, in a grave. But I have a challenge for you today. I want to challenge you to a game of noughts and crosses. Have you ever played noughts and crosses? Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes people know it as exiosis as well. But I'm going to play it as ex noughts and crosses. And so what I want to do is I want you to be the X's, the crosses, and I'll be the knot. okay? So we've got the crosses and the knot. And uh, now, I'm challenging you, but I quite often win this game. In fact, I have never lost this game yet. So there's a challenge right there. Let's see how you go, okay? Because I'm nice, I'll let you go first, okay? So let's take a cross and you tell me where you'd like to put it. Here's the cross here. So where would you like to put this cross? Maybe here? No? Or there? No? Oh, hold on. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Over here, top right over there. Well done. Great, now it's my turn. Um, I'll take my note and I'm gonna put it, oh my goodness, I'm gonna put it where I normally put my first piece, okay? I'm gonna put mine right here now where are you going to put your next cross okay here we go am i here where you where do you want to put it oh down here no no uh over here that might be quite good no no okay up here is that where you want it yes okay okay fair enough now it's my go okay now, I'm going to take my knot and I am going to put my knot. I'm going to put my knot. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it here. Like that. Now, it's your turn. It's your turn. But I've just realised something. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll see if you notice. Um, you've got your cross. Where are you going to put it? That, I think you should put it here. Maybe here? No? Uh, what about, the, put it there? What? No, no? In the middle? But, I, I've got something in the middle. Oh, up, up. Oh, no. No. Here we go. We'll put your cross there. Oh my goodness, you have just won. You have won. Oh my word. But you know, that was a little challenge for you and you've won it. But actually, today, Easter Sunday, is a challenge. And I'll tell you why. Let's remove the grid. And let's see what we get. Well, if we look carefully, we have our three crosses. On the hill. We have our three crosses standing on our hill. And down below, down below, we have our 
two. And what might this be from our tomb here? There's our tomb. Here is the rock, the boulder removed. The boulder opened up the tomb. The boulder opened up the tomb. And look in, can we see anything? No. What do we have? We have three crosses on a hill, the three crosses of Good Friday. But in three days time, today, three days after Good Friday, the tomb was open, the boulder was removed, the stone was rolled away from the empty tomb. Jesus didn't stay dead. No, he's alive. He is alive. He beat death. He won a victory over evil and hatred and all that is ugly in our world. And now he can offer us salvation. He can offer us that we can become his followers too. It looked like Jesus had lost, but he'd won. He had won. That's why it's called Good Friday. Easter is so important to each one of us, to every Christian around the world, because it tells us loud and clear that death has been defeated, that evil can be beaten, because Jesus died for us, each one of us. God in Jesus won the victory. He has the winning line. Now, one of my favourite passages during Easter is the woman coming to see the tomb open. And it was a woman that came and saw and heard what had happened and to tell everybody else around. And it's found in Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 10. And I'm going to read it from my Bible this morning, the, North, the NIV version. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the other Mary, went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He's not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He's risen from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy and excitement and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they'll see me. What wonderful news. What wonderful news to celebrate today. Jesus is alive. He's alive for me. He's alive for you. He's alive for all of us. If we come and choose to come and know him and accept him into our lives as our saviour. Because he has risen, he is alive and he can save us. We have great news to tell. We have great news that Jesus is alive and we need to celebrate that. Not just today, but each and every day in our lives. We need to go and tell the good news. Just as a woman ran off to say they couldn't hold back. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. It should be us as well. We can't hold back. We need to tell people that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you are alive. 
thank you, Jesus, for the good news that you died and rose again and live forever. Thank you, Jesus, for the good news that you saved us from our sins, that we can come and be with you and know you forever. Thank you, Jesus, that we can live this good news forever in our lives and with each other. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the good news today 